Hey guys, this is Lilith every night. Oh my gosh. And as soon as I go and do this, here comes one of my fur babies. Come over here. Um, sorry about that. Come on. All right, so I am doing a quick reading on Selena, or I did a quick reading on Selena. Um, not Selena Gomez, but Selena, the original singer, uh, from the nineties. Uh, I'm acting like I don't know her. It's just, you know, just like her, just like me, we both have hard last names to pronounce. So it's Selena Quintanilla. I, I'm pretty sure I said her last name wrong, but yeah. So anyway, um, I just wanted to do this reading on live not live on camera and just let you guys know what messages what channeled messages i got from her and um oh my gosh <laughs> this camera angle is horrible right now but i'm gonna try to make it look decent enough so okay so we have four no yeah five cards or a couple cards, more than five, that I got from this reading. So, it's all this candle wax and smudge stick. Um, anyway, so, okay, number one, I asked Selena, I channeled in her energy and my angels and the ancestors, and I asked her um, what card would represent, what would represent Selena? So, two cards came out for her representation, what would represent her, which is the Queen, the queen of Cups and um, the Chariot Reverse. So, what I get from the Queen of Cups is someone who is highly intuitive, emotional, definitely a queen kind of energy. She was royalty and, um, you know, she was high, clearly highly favored. Um, by many people, I see a beautiful woman, very elegant, Ella, you know, what is that? Okay, I have something on my phone. Elegant, a very beautiful, very creative, very artistic energy, very intuitive energy. So she was very in tune with her emotions. She was very loving and very caring and very just, she just had a probably so like, she also had like a very, this is a card that came out. As you can see, the Queen of Cups right here. So she was very dreamy, very dreamy. And she probably also really believed in herself a lot, you know. And that's where she got where she, she her career stemmed from her emotion, from her intuitive, creative abilities as well, which is why she's a musician and she was a singer. I don't know if she wrote music. But I wouldn't be surprised, especially with the Queen of Cups coming out. So I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if just singing was her artistic talent. But she also maybe wrote. Maybe, I don't know, if she had other in, uh, creative abilities. But she was highly creative, highly into, maybe loved to dance, you know. So um, this is a kind of woman, the Queen of Cups, like the queens are the kind of women that carry kind of like a, a very important role. In life they carry an important role in life and um, people look at them like they are important like they are royalty and that when you see a queen you make sure to um, make sure you respect the queen and it's not like in a way where she was like oh bow down to me but it was more in a loving kind of way and then another, the other card that came out was the Chariot um, Reversed. And um, I know that one. I was just getting to that one. Um, I'm not saying that she was necessarily a, con uh, a person that liked conflict. But I think maybe she was like, well, she was also an Aries, so... She was also the type of person who, if you, I should be showing you guys the cards too, so. Sorry about my weird angle. So, 
the lighting. Next time, note to self, do this in the daytime, you know? So, yeah. So, anyway, um, that card represents, you know, maybe, like, she was the type of person that didn't really like setbacks. And she was very impulsive. She liked to get to the point of things. She didn't like delays or maybe she didn't always like conflict, but sometimes being in a position, in a high position that she was, could have also brought conflict in her life. She was probably also a very fiery kind of person, very adventurous and a risk taker. Maybe the type of person that took risks and did things, not because other people liked it. And that's probably what caused conflict, maybe with her parents or were her brother and sisters, her siblings. So maybe she did things the way she wanted to sometimes. And sometimes she, I don't know if she was a little hard-headed, but when it came to the things that she was passionate about, she was the type of person that I feel that she really trusted her gut. She trusted what she felt a lot in many ways. Um, but you know, when you get emotional, maybe she was overly emotional. So she was probably the type of person when she got emotional, it was intense. And, you know, sometimes they say, like, you're not supposed to let your emotions control your reaction. But, you know, she had her moments, you know, she was very, you know, in tune with herself. Um, let's see what else. She just seemed like she just knew what she wanted. She had a lot of drive and a lot of passion. And, you know, um, she was a go-getter. Um, but sometimes I think that led her to things that could, um, maybe she was a little rebellious sometimes. And, um, sometimes that could lead to problems with certain individuals. Um, maybe it has something to do with how her, you know, her passing had started. Maybe she was being, I don't know what had happened. Maybe her gut was feeling something that day, but... You know, um, there was also a part of her that didn't want to, um, she, maybe she was like ignoring her intuition at the same time, you know, at that moment, because she wanted to trust this person who did her wrong. And, um, you know, that's the problem with emotional intuitive people. Like, yeah, they're intuitive. Yeah, they're most, they're intuitive, intuitive, and they're very aware but at the same time, when it comes to loving and caring for people that are really close to them, even if those people are not good for them, she will, you know, maybe she she wanted to ignore that gut feeling about that person who did her, who did that to her. You know, if you know the story, you know, of how she passed on, um, you know, so maybe this person wasn't, maybe other people had told her. You know, this person isn't good for you. Or maybe there was just something. And that day, you know, she just didn't, you know, she just let that other part of her, that stubborn part of her, not um, see through that person. And she was just ignoring her intuition with this certain individual who, who just took her life. And I don't like to talk about things like that, but it is a part of her story um come here baby no 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 so you know anyway let's go next to the next part of this to the reading which is looking back on your life and how do you see it um which is number two which is the hermit right here maybe she's reflecting on the past of when she used to be alive. You know, I feel like she has a lot of wisdom and um, and a lot of guidance on the other side. But she's looking down at where it led her. And it led her to the light, you know. She carries a light, you know. You know, she's probably an angel, you know, out there, you know, she carries that light. She carries a good vibration about her. And uh, that she also, you know, now that she is looking back at it, you know, it gave her a lot of wisdom, gave her a lot of introspection. 
It gave her a lot of knowledge to look within the situation and to see where it took her in her journey. Um, and I think a lot of this wisdom is now she also, you know, that light never died. That light that she carried and the light that she brought into the world, it never dimmed out. If anything, it made it much brighter. You know, that light is forever within her. And she probably realized that when she passed on that you never really die, you know. But at the same time, you know, she's still sad, you know. I feel that she's still sad because she probably had a lot of other things that she had within herself that she wanted to put out. She wanted to put out more light. More that that her music was her light. Her creativity was her light. You know, and she was look she still had a lot of that within her that she wanted to carry and bring out. Um, I think maybe she misses her family, her friends, her fans. But at the same time, you know, I think she's she's became a very wise person. She she you know, being in that realm, you know, she's way more wiser, way more intelligent than, you know, being in the physical realm, you know, so, you know, but I still carry, you know, maybe she's still carrying that, you know, what if, you know, sometimes, you know, because you can't always communicate on the other side. So, um, maybe she leaves messages, um, to people and her family. Um, let me see a lesson that you would like to share, which is number three. I do this right okay number two okay a lesson that you would like to share this is the hangman so i get like sacrifice being able to let go of the things that you cannot control and just be grateful for the things that you have your blessings and um that this reality we don't take the things that come with this in this reality you have to learn how to let go the things that are not a part of your soul. Um, you know, all the materials and all the fame and all that. You know, those things are great and those things are great to carry a lot of blessings. But at the same time, let me let her out. Come on, get out of that little baby. So, yeah, um, just, I would say, just be grateful for each moment that you are alive. And even when you are feeling like you're hanging upside down, even when you feel that your world is upside down, still, um, still be grateful for the things that, you know, are a blessing. And also, um, I'm just trying to channel in more. Um, just be able to let go and surrender to the things that you clearly have no control over, you know, and just, you know, just being able to surrender and, uh, um, you know, sometimes you have to sacrifice for the things that are your blessings, you know, it takes sacrifice and hard work, um, to, be in a better place sometimes and even if you know if your world is uh upside down um you have to be able to uh give up certain things that are no longer you know just don't attach to the things that you know that are not meant you know not everything belongs to you you know i don't know how to explain it the material realm you know, does not belong to us, you know, but, you know, at the same time, you know, just surrender, you know, and just, um, just be at peace with the things that are making you still breathe. And, um, yeah, just, you know, be grateful you know, for every moment, because you never know. You never know when it's your last breath in life, you know? And um, I think that's a message. 
a lesson that you would like to teach us that we have to learn. Maybe she feels that a lot of people walk around, you know, feeling, you know, living life carelessly and, you know, um, just carelessly sometimes. And we have to just, um, just be more, of course, be more careful, not care less, but at the same time, stop um, complaining about the things that you don't need to complain for. Just understand that you are still breathing for something. Okay, and let's see. Um, for a reason. You're here for a reason. Um, let me see. Number uh, four. Something that you would wish you had paid more attention to. Okay, that is the Six of Wands reversed. And I see a lot of, on this card, I see like someone who, you know, has a lot of fans and a lot of victory and celebration and all of that. But let me read more into it because it is reversed. Okay. It says, it may be that a reminder of your team is not doing their share of work or has betrayed the team in some way. And you, as the leader, have the task of dealing with this person. This card could appear when your successes and recognition have infiltrated your ego. You may have, lo you may have lost the sight of the original purpose of your project. Instead, of, instead focus on increased fame. Uh, of your project instead to instead focus on increased fame and recognition it may be that it may be the case that along with the increased recognition for work comes increased criticism try to take what is useful from others feedback without getting too shaken up on the negative words you may be frustrated because you are not getting any recognition for your successes okay Preparations for celebration. So, um, maybe she was also, this is the six of wands. So I definitely see somebody who was definitely getting their rewards, getting their blessings, someone getting lots of recognition and fan base. But at the same time, maybe her team of people were, um, giving her some sort of criticism on certain situations and warning her, like I said, earlier warning her about a certain individual and that's what that card just said so maybe she was getting you know something was warning her about this person this woman if you ever seen the movie you'll know what woman i'm talking about i don't know her name i'm just going by the cards right now so forgive me for that one um i am a fan of her music so you know she's the person she was the first person to um inspire me to do music as a child so, you know, I focus on her. I don't focus on the people who did her wrong. But this card is showing that, uh, you know, she was in a leadership role, a, a leadership role. And maybe the person that um, did her wrong, you know, was having conflict with her on that. You know, maybe some of this person, maybe this person who um, took her life wanted some form of control wanted some form of control in her life for whatever reason. And, um, you know, noticing that this person was getting a lot of recognition and all of that. Maybe this person was being critical of her. I don't know. But, you know, maybe she felt that she should have paid more attention to the fact that this person was doing that to her. This person was trying to take control in ways because she was so focused on her fan base and her celebration. She was so focused on her fame as well, you know, and she was celebrating that in the victory of it, that she was, you know, she had her back turned to the, the problems that it could also bring. And also, so the last card, um, represents a message that you would like to give me. And I also said me and the fans and, 
Maybe this is a message for certain people as well. This is the uh, High Priestess reverse. And that is someone who is needing to pay attention more to their intuition and their gut feelings. And being in tune with, you know, being that, you know, um, maybe, maybe not for everybody, but in tune with your sexual nature. Not in a sexual kind of way, but just as a woman, you know, that motherly way that womanly way you know being in tune with that side of yourself maybe that's for some women um don't ignore uh the maybe there's some people like if there's someone that is bullying you or gossiping about you or saying things about you you shouldn't be quiet about it um that is what i got for that one and that you or that i you know or us some of us need to, you know, use our gut feeling. And if we feel that something is not right, don't let those people just use what they can say about us. No, I get that word. Um, no weapon should be formed against us or that's what I got. But it's like, you know, your word, your words are your sword as well. And you use your voice and speak up and use your intuition Okay, and then I got a card that pulled out, pull I pulled out for her, her lover. I'm not sure her husband. Um, you know her lover that you know that she was with when she was alive, and I uh, I don't know if he's the type of person, but I got a message for him. Maybe he is never he never got over it. You know he's still uh, deep down inside, within is still dreaming of her. You know, and that like dreaming of you, you know, um, I think that's what she's, you know, that song was probably dedicated to him or, you know, I don't know why, but I see somebody sleeping and dreaming and maybe he's still dreaming of her. Um, maybe she's telling him that he needs to just, you know, take a rest on that take a rest on the pain and he needs to stop beating himself up on the situation and yeah that is what i got from her and uh thank you so much and please subscribe and help me just gain more subscribers and um more support with uh these readings and uh you know as a fan of selena um this is not to disrespect her but to just honor her and um i just thank my angels my ancestors my guide my guides, the goddess, and, um, you know, mother in the earth, father in the sky, you know, spirit and the all. So thank you guys for watching. And, um, yeah, if you, oh yeah. So my other subscribers who don't watch my tarot readings, I, you know, this is just for those who are really into my readings. So thank you once again. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I say rest in peace to Selena as well. So I can just, you know, let her go. Let her, you know. Anyway, let me just be quiet now. <laughs>